everybody. Wanderlust Untapped back for another tasting. Tonight we have <clears throat> a very special brew from Fine Ales. It's from the Origins Brewing Program. Uh, we'll be trying the Kilcarran Wee Heavy this evening. Yes. Look at that. That's beautiful, mm. isn't it? 7.6%. <laughs> yeah, pretty strong one. What did you learn about it? Um, I learned that it, it's a Scottish ale and it was finished in whiskey barrels. So we should have a nice little kick to it. Excellent. Um, and we actually decided that we were going to drink these out of glasses tonight. Not that I don't always, but um, in the bottle we poured it out, not a ton of carbonation. A little on the flat side, but I'm assuming sitting in a whiskey barrel for a good long time probably did that. When I've home brewed and left beer sit for a long time, it's really hard to carbonate it. So um, it smells wonderful. It does smell wonderful. It is I can Strong. smell. I can smell the kind of oakiness. You really it's, get the whiskey flavors. It's really, yeah. It smells. It smells really good. And even I'm drinking out of a glass because of the quality of this beverage. I thought <laughs> only befitting something of this quality that I actually use a glass. Um, I think I really get the peatiness, which I think the label says you get sort of a peat finish. It's oh. re It's a nice peat finish, but it actually does taste like you're drinking like <clears throat> a thick whiskey. It's, oh man. It's yeah. strong. That is really good. You really get the flavors of the cask in there. Yeah. Um, it's, it's really good. It's a very smooth beer. I don't think I could drink a lot of these. No, I think a couple of these, though, after a day of standing on my feet all day, working my fingers to the bone might be good. It could be, yeah. Yeah, and actually, as part of this, too, I mean, they're, they um, Fine Ales have done, like, a tasting and a food pairing and stuff and um, at a, a local restaurant, I believe. One of the things it mentions is that this pairs well with cheese and open fire. So I thought what we could do is we could test it out and see how it enhances the experience with, uh, with a little bit of open fire. Here's our flame. And do we need to eat? Only no, no expense was spared with, with the cheese here. No, no, no. I'm not sure that that can really be called cheese. First, you need to, you need to have a bite of cheese before you do that. Here. Oh, let's mm. see. Mm. Ah. Oh, cheese. All right, cheese and flame. Actually, yeah. That that just made that cheese taste good, which is shocking. I'm not sure if the flame did anything other than smell like wonderful Ooh. roses, but. Well, it made my cheese taste like whiskey. So I guess that's a good thing. Well. So, Tesco executives, if you're taking note, <laughs> you may want to pair up with Fine Ales for some sort of mild cheddar slice slash uh, Kilcarran Wee, Wee Heavy uh, special edition. In disclaimer, we're probably saying Kilcarran wrong. Because oh, we totally are. Yeah. We're saying it like it's supposed to sound, maybe by the way it's spelled, but it probably isn't said like that at all. When she said, says the way it's supposed to sound uh, for two morons from uh, you know the North American side. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's us. I would definitely, uh, have to say this would be by another round, although with trepidation, because, uh, I don't know that I would not be passed out after the first one. I think maybe it's buy another round and then hold off on this one and maybe buy another round later on with this one. <laughs> yeah, they actually have four in this series, um, and we'll be trying the other ones as well. Yeah, so there'll be more videos of the Originals coming up. They're all really unique. Um, they come from the Origins, or basically them using really unique different, was it like yeasts and um, different sort of flavors for beer? Uh, you act like I'm supposed to know about beer. I just drink it. I just read the bottles. But I still have cheese. So that's us. Go out, try Fine Ales. They're doing a tasting this week at the Grunt and Growler on Friday, I think. So if you watch this video before then and you're in the Glasgow area, go and try it for yourself. Make sure to take a lighter, open flame, but just don't light the place on fire. Right. Because they're actually really nice there. So anyway, all right, enjoy. Cheers. Cheers.